start an oil change, we're going to want to pull up our e-brake, get this thing on jack stands. I do have a video on the Cameron Alpha 2 channel. I will link it down in the description. I have a detailed video on how to get this car on jack stands. You can get a general idea from this visual right now. But if you've never done this before, it can be kind of scary. You don't know if you trust jack stands. You don't know if you trust yourself jacking up on the right spot. You don't want to damage your car, your carbon fiber side skirt. I have all the information on that second channel video down in the description. But we need to get this thing up in the air and then we can get started on the process. If you're the slightest bit into cars and you want to save some money and just have fun with your car, changing your oil should be a no brainer. Pop your hood, pull off our plastic engine cover, slide our oil catcher underneath. You can pick these up at O'Reilly's. A link in the description to our Amazon list. Take off our oil cap so that air can breathe through the engine when we drain it. You can see here's the drain plug. It's plastic on these cars as well as the oil pan is plastic. Flathead screwdriver is all. Twist it to the left, lefty loosey, righty tighty. That thing comes out, I kind of unscrew it half the way and then progressively get to the all the way out mark just so I don't spill any oil on my hand too much. Let it drain out. Takes about two and a half to five minutes to let it all the way out to be picky. We're gonna take a 32 millimeter socket. We're gonna remove our oil filter. You're going to pull up on the housing and the filter is going to be sitting there. You're going to take this, throw it away. Then we're going to go over to the bench, replace it as well as the O-ring. That O-ring is super important to make sure that you have a good seal and you don't want to over tighten this. This new filter slides in the cap, no problem. Grab a little pick or anything similar. You can even use your hand if you can get a nail underneath there. Slowly get the seal off carefully, however method you want to. You're gonna pull it off. Every oil filter comes with a new seal. Slide it on, get it into place. I kind of did reverse of how I got it off. And I'm gonna slide it into place. And then once I'm done with that, I have a little bit of oil on my hands right now. So I'm gonna take it and spin it in my hand and make sure that this O-ring has a little bit of oil on it so that when I tighten it down, Nothing gets caught and it slides and creates a nice seal. Got to clean the oil off with the rag, of course. Keep everything as clean as possible. This is something that you don't want to over tighten, but you just want it snug. If you have to question if you're putting it too tight, just probably stop right about there. This is a magnetic drain plug. Any type of metal shavings in your metal, it's all gonna collect at the bottom instead of continually recirculating through your engine. These drain plugs click into place and then I'm gonna take a towel and wipe it off so that if I have any sort of oil leak, I'll know what's fresh oil and it's not left over from the mess I made taking it out. We've got our Motul 8100 series 5W40 weight. This stuff is the bee's knees. I love Motul, I use it in everything that I own. I have a link to the ECS website down below so you guys can order this kit to change your oil and you can pick the Motul option if you wanna go this route. This did take all six liters. You're gonna see me check here and there, but I was surprised. I thought it would take 5.7 like it calls for but it took all six to get a full oil level. Before I check my oil level, I wanna get the car level on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my jack stands out, lower the car. Opening up the garage, they don't have exhaust fumes in the garage, but before you start it, let's freeze right here. We need a double, triple check in our head, do a little countdown drain plug is in we put oil in the engine we change our oil filter we change the oil filter seal we didn't over tighten it okay everything is good to go we have oil in the engine nothing's leaking now we're safe to start it we're gonna let it run for about 
minute and a half, two minutes, we want to have oil flowing through the oil filter before we take our final reading on our oil level. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and dust this thing out. Motor's off. We're going to let it sit for about five minutes before I take this level. You want to let all that oil seep to the bottom of the oil pan and then you can get a proper reading. So I wiped it off once, stuck it back in. Now I'm checking it, it's a little bit low. I kept adding more and more and more because I didn't want to believe it would take all six liters, but it did. Put our oil cap back on, got my oil level right. It's very obvious on the dipstick. Put my plastic cover back on, close the hood, and we're good to go. Clean up our mess, put our jack stands back. You know the drill. the upcoming videos we installed the overrun map burble tune popple crack whatever word you want to use be on the lookout for that but i hope this helped you build confidence in the garage changing your oil sometimes it's baby steps for a lot of people so you don't want to overlook the simple things like changing your oil i'm excited for you get out there get after it if you guys want to support the channel karmaspeed.com appreciate you all see you in the next one